back at it again, and well, 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 ah, it seems like we are having an insurrection in the Capitol, you know, um, but, or had one, uh, it's not currently happening as far as I know, um, but that's quite interesting that it wasn't all over the news, uh, every single news station, every single news channel like J6 was. Are we going to have trials for this one too? I'm curious. What do you guys think? Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And let's dive in. We're hoping to bring you this video within seconds. Uh, breaking news from inside the Capitol building. Anti-Israel protesters just shut down the largest cafeteria on the Senate side. And they were chanting, according to our producers there, and they were saying that the Capitol Police are chanting everybody out or be placed under, under arrest. And the protesters were shouting back, uh, this is the house of the people. The Senate can't eat until Gaza eats. Oh, this is the house of the people, and you aren't leaving. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I wonder if they're going to investigate these folks and track every single one of them down and make sure that they're all brought to court. I wonder. I wonder. You know? I'm just, I'm just curious if they're actually going to track these folks down and uh, drag them in court. You know, I, I, I'm just curious, you know, what, 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 what do you guys think? Let me know. <laughs> Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm being a little sarcastic here. We all know what's going to happen with this. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. They, they might arrest some of these folks and, uh, you know, put them in jail, but they'll be out. They'll be out within 24 hours. No problems, no issues. Won't have any court dates or anything like that. Nothing. But... It only proves us right once again. This is the house of the people. The Senate can't eat until Gaza eats. Fox News has now learned that many of those activists are the same ones who interrupted Secretary Lloyd Austin's testimony earlier today during a Senate Armed Services hearing that was looking into the military budget. Now, we have seen so many of these protesters now show up, even outside the Wilmington, Delaware home, of the president of the United States. They follow Biden around everywhere he goes now, every state. And they may not have been protesters, but the vote against him that was uncommitted in places where we've seen so much anti-Israel movement, like Michigan. In those places, those voters were above 100,000 voting uncommitted, not for Biden. So this is a political side. We have the video, roll. So here it is. So protesters gathered, shutting down the largest cafeteria on the Senate side of, the ca of Capitol Hill, making their voices heard, going back and forth with cops. They probably have a big student. America. Debt. Making their voices heard. Um, yeah, quite interesting stuff. Quite interesting stuff. And like I said, I, I highly doubt anything will come of this. Anything, nothing. Um, I, I think these people will be able to go home freely, uh, will be able to sleep peacefully. Um, none of them will be tracked down at all. And none of them uh, will be drugged into uh, any courtrooms. Not a single person. But once again, I'm happy that it will happen. Because it once again will prove us right. That there's two standards of justice here. Uh, justice for one side is completely different than justice for the other side or against the other side. It's as clear as day. It's as clear as day. Um, a story that I haven't even touched on in a night. Mm, nah, I probably won't. Uh, the Ashley Biden um, diary that was found. The chick that found it uh, is sentenced to a month in jail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for selling it, I guess, um, which also proves that the diary is real, which also leads to a whole different loop of things, because if that's real, then Biden was doing some weird stuff with his daughter, and, ah, uh, yeah, mm-mm, mm, -mm. mm, -mm. nip, weird, that's your president, 
Not only is he uh, allegedly eat boogers, <laughs> which if you hey watch my YouTube shorts, if you haven't seen them, definitely go and check them out. If you watch them, then you would get the booger reference. If you don't get the booger reference, go and check out my YouTube shorts, baby. You'll get it then. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> that is disgusting. Um, but not only do you have that, but you, you, you got him doing some some terrible things with uh, his daughter, allegedly. Um, so, yeah, she was sentenced to a month in jail, but, you know, these illegals who beat up a cop get to walk free make that one make sense make that make sense right um but yeah like i said these folks nothing will happen so here it is so protesters gathered shutting down the largest cafeteria on the senate side of the cap of capitol hill making their voices heard going back and forth with cops they probably have a big student america reports will be look at that look at that my goodness my goodness. I've also got another uh, video of them uh, allegedly inside the Capitol. Where is that? Oh, here we go. Um, also something, uh, interesting happened yesterday while this was all going on. Allegedly Google was hard at work. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Which is also something interesting that, you know, I, I'll, I'll dive into it later on. Um, but yeah, check out this video. The nearly a hundred anti-Israel protesters illegally went into the Capitol today and fucking Google only shows me one article about it. Like, let me show you what I mean. So if I go to Google and I put in anti-Israel protest capital, this Fox News article pops up. Then watch what happens when I scroll down past this one article. Okay, so here's the article. Scrolling, scrolling. This is all 2023, 2023, 2023, 2023. I mean, nothing absolutely nothing about it and this happened today and no one is talking about it still going finally an article somehow nearly a hundred people went into the capitol building illegally and google shows one fucking article and i have to scroll all the way down to the next to last link to find another one but somehow in between all that was anti-Israel protest back in 2023. You can't tell me that's not intentional. Like this is active suppression of the news, active suppression of the reality that is going on right now. Google, why are you suppressing this? Why are you trying to hide what these anti-Israel protesters just did? Why are you trying to hide the fact that they went into the Capitol illegally? There's no denying that you're doing it. Like it's either you're actively suppressing it, your search engine algorithm sucks. We all know your algorithm's pretty good, but why are you hiding the story? Yeah. So Google was allegedly trying to hide that story, which is why, you know, I, I, I think it's great that we have something like X, right, where uh, that Elon purchased it. <laughs> I've seen some things that I think they were complete jokes, but um, Elon was saying that he, he may purchase some some other things as well, <laughs> like CNN or something. <laughs> Which would honestly be absolutely hilarious. Bro, could you imagine Elon purchasing it in? Bro, I'm sorry. Bro, let me work. Let me work. I, listen, don't pay me no 20 mil. I don't, I don't need it. Don't want it. Okay? I No, I, I, I don't need that much. I, I, I will work for pennies on the dollar in comparison to, to what some of these news anchors get paid you know, on, on some of these big networks, pennies on a dollar compared in comparison to them. Now I ain't gonna work free now. Okay. <laughs> but I don't need as much as they get paid, but I, bro, sign me up, please. I will sign up tomorrow, man. I would have so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Oh man. That, that would be, that would be a good time right there. That would, that would be a time to be alive right there. My goodness. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's I think it's great that we have something like X where we 
where anything and everything basically can be posted and put out for uh, the mass consumption. It's also why I think, uh, you know, the Biden administration uh, is continually trying to go after Elon Musk, right? It's it's why uh, the establishment and the powers that be uh, don't like X, right? Uh, I, I, that's personally what I what I think. Um, you, you, you're even seeing this out of Brazil right now, right? Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about that whole story. Maybe it actually, you know, maybe maybe I'll make a video on it um, because it's some it's some really interesting stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, in all over the place, you've seen it out of out of I think I think the EU was even going after Elon at one point uh, for X and you know not censoring things and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's it's just interesting how they all try to preach to us, you know, misinformation, disinformation, and they don't allow the free flow of information. Anybody that is against the free flow of information, uh, I know that they're no good. They're, they are some bad actors. Because from, from my perspective, uh, if, if, if you had good intentions and you truly wanted to save lives and save people, anytime that you saw anything that was misinformation or disinformation, you would just post underneath it. Or or uh, repost it and or quote it right uh, where you you know they can see the post the original post and then you could make your own post right above it and you could just refute whatever it's saying if someone says hey drinking water is going to pine box you tomorrow <laughs> and you could say uh, as a matter of fact no that's not gonna happen here's how I know this is blah 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 here's a reference blah 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 you know you, you can just you can easily refute that but instead they want to try to silence folks which like I said um, I, I I think um, they they um, ran that ship into the ground in 2020 uh, during the pandemic right uh, they they uh, lost all all trust from a lot of folks, right? Um, during that time period. So I, I think they really shot themselves in the foot with that one. But hey, who am I? You know, I'm just a guy that makes videos on the internet from time to time. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think Google was actually actively suppressing it? Or was it just because it was just such a fresh and new story that, you know, people were still gathering information on it? And why is it that why... nearly a hundred? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. And that is why, you know, you didn't see a whole lot of articles. Let me know. All right. Let me know. Thanks for all of the continued love and support. Peace and love. I'm out.